Greetings, Tubadors. Welcome back. Well, third video in, I think, four or five days. Yeah, we're on a roll. You can tell I haven't been in work this week, can you? Um, anyway, this is only going to be a very short one. I know I keep promising that, and I'm not known for my brevity, but uh, I was looking through some, uh, some peripheral hard drives that I keep around the place, and I found a few videos um, presented by Flat Earthers that have obviously been here you know, for many, many, many months, and I'd forgotten all about them. So I had a quick look, and I came across the video that I'm going to comment on today. It was only about three minutes long, um, and it's by, again, another flat earther who thinks that they have found yet another absolute proof of the flat earth. They just happen to have found it on a mobile phone app. Now I thought, right, I'm going to have to obviously mention the channel name and all the rest of it. So I went back onto YouTube and I could not find this video anywhere. So I don't know who it's by. Um, I don't know the channel name. Um, I don't know anything about it. I know the fella's English, and that's just about all I know. Anyway, this chap has on his mobile phone an app called Windy. Anyway, I tell you what, we'll let him tell you, tell you himself to start off with. All right, I'm going to show you something on an app which proves the flat earth and the ice wall. That'll take you to a map of the flat earth, right? So there you go, Windy app. Um, I should imagine it's of use to people who fly light aircraft, um, people who go surfing. In fact, just about anybody needs to know which way the wind is blowing, at what altitude, and which direction the wind is coming from. Other than that, I can't see that they'd be in much use for it. It certainly wasn't built with flat earthers in mind. I'm pretty sure about that. Um, but anyway, this chap reckons that there's absolute proof on this app that the earth is flat. So... Let's let him take us down to Antarctica, that famous southern ice wall. Watch what happens. If I scroll all the way along, right, there is Botswana in Africa. So if we scroll all the way along, you can see the ice wall continues all the way past Australia. And Wolfie 6020 all the way past South America, Argentina, and the ice wall continues all the way back to Africa. From Botswana, you went right the way around the ice wall and back to Botswana. Or Botswana, obviously not on the southern continent, but that was the point of reference he used there. Um, I genuinely can't understand how anybody can possess such a minuscule level of intelligence that they could possibly believe that that is anything other than a way of displaying a three-dimensional spherical map on a two-dimensional plane, an LCD screen. People have been doing that for centuries. We still use the Mercator projection on maps today. It doesn't give an accurate representation of the size of countries or even an accurate shape of a country, but it does give a very accurate um, cardinal heading. So anyway, to prove this, I am going to make my own app. Now, no, I'm not going to program an app. I'm not a coder, but just to prove that you can display three dimensions on a two-dimensional or apparently two-dimensional plane, I've decided to replicate our friend's display of the Antarctic Swall. Let's right, ladies and gentlemen, let's build our app. Now, first of all, we're going to need the housing for our app. And so what I've done is I have whipped out this insert from your common or garden picture frame. Now we need to upload our maps. There we go. There is our beautiful three-dimensional spherical Earth. Actually, this blow-up globe's not bad because it is genuinely an oblate spheroid. Anyway, here's our app. So we'll open our app. Here we go. And there we are. North America. 
from east there we go to europe so there we are so we'll do what uh, we'll do what captain klutz did okay so we'll come down to antarctica there it is and there's uh, there's botswana as he saw it on the map as well don't know if we can uh, just like he did there we go so there's botswana so we come down and oh look there's the antarctic ice wall and we can just scroll through it look we can scroll through look at that perfectly flat ice wall perfectly perfectly perfect circumference right the way around the edge of the earth yeah and then we come back to africa as he did and we're back to botswana but there we go that is pretty much exactly what this numbskull did and I can do exactly the same thing with a 49 pence blow up globe and an insert from a picture frame and completely pro prove him wrong and my gear cost a hell of a lot less than, it, lo less than his I think that pretty much proves my point anyway um I'm going to keep this one very, very, very short. I am back in work tomorrow, so I'm not going to be staying up all night potching around with video editing software and all the rest of it. So this might go up. It might look a bit rough, but, you know, it was only intended as a bit of a laugh anyway. So, um, as usual, thank you very much for watching. I do very, very much appreciate every single person who pops through here. Um, if you're not subscribed, please, please do consider subscribing. Um, hit the subscribe button, wait until Thor pops up, the large picture of Thor, give him a click, click the bell notification, um, and please do comment. Whether you are comment for or against, ask K. Okay, all comments are good. Thumbs up or thumbs down, I don't mind. Please do just engage. So, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, as I say, for coming by and taking a look at my strange and unusual Welsh rantings. Um, be well, be nice to each other, I will catch you next time. Until then, au revoir.